Good morning, friends. Sarah here. Today I am going to share with you my TBR for the Reader Rama. Reader Rama, um, I'll try to leave the people below. It's hosted by several people. Um, and it is going from March 12th through March 18th. There are, as usual, challenges and things to go with it, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to read. Now, March 12th through 18th, I'm going to be on vacation and, like, going away on vacation. So every year my family and I go to uh, Vermont for a timeshare, and sometimes I read a whole crap ton of books, and sometimes I don't. It kind of depends on the snow conditions and how we're all feeling. So there is potential that I could actually finish seven books next week if I'm like really lazy and just hanging around and reading, then I could finish seven books. But whatever happens, happens. Uh, the other challenge with putting together this TBR is when we go away on vacation, I am the one who usually brings all the books for people to read. Not all of them, but... So making this TBR, I had to find books that no one had read before. <laughs> and let me tell you, my grandfather has read almost all of the books on my shelf. So trying to find books that he hadn't read or that members of my family hadn't read was a bit of a challenge. So I had a, like a bigger challenge than usual in doing this TBR. And so a lot of this video may be trying to convince you of all of the ways that these books actually fit the challenges. I also messed up too, because I thought the year a year thon was also this week. And so I had, <laughs> So I'm just going with it and I'm going to read my Eurathon books next week instead of this week because whatever, as long as I read them, right? Okay. On with the challenges. Of course, the first challenge is to read seven books. So I have seven books picked out. We will see. I'm going to kind of do all of this out of order because I want to show you it's a trilogy that I'm going to be reading and it doesn't hit all of the challenges in order. So a year this month was to read a trilogy and cover buys and I made these books go into my TBR for Readorama. So I'm going to show you the trilogy and tell you the challenges that they make up for for um, for Readorama. So I want to read the Thousand Pieces of Your You trilogy um, by Claudia Gray. I don't think you can even see the covers because they're so white and the glare is so huge. So challenge six of Readorama is to start a new series. So that would be A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray, which I've heard a lot about and it's a complete series and we're going to knock this out and be done with that, right? Read a book blind. I am going to do, use 10,000 Skies Above You for this one because obviously I don't know anything about it other than it's the next book in that series. So that's cool. And for the first challenge, which is read a book with R-A-M-A -A in the title and author's name, we have A Million Worlds With You and we have R A M. A. So we have it. So yay. I made it work everyone. So that was for the first challenge, the sixth and the seventh challenge. So now we're going to go on to the second challenge, which is to read a book with an animal on the cover. And so I grabbed Paw and Order by Diane Kelly. I grabbed this book from a book sale at the library and obviously I haven't read it and it's like a I would assume some sort of cozy mystery of some sort and I love them and they're quick and fast and fun reads. Third third challenge is to read a book with the main character that shares your initial. So my first name is Sarah and this was very very hard for me especially considering what I already told you about my grandfather having read everything. So <laughs> this one I'm going to read Free Bird by John Raymond. This I got in a bookly box, I think last month. Apparently the grandfather's name is Sam. And since he's mentioned on here, I'm taking him as a main character since he's mentioned on the, on the blurb. The fourth challenge was to read a book with Irish elements. This one was even a worse struggle and I ended up having to go with something that 
Um, my grandparents have already read, but my mother has not. And uh, that is, I think, uh, any ton of French book. Uh, I have Faithful Place here. Uh, my mother actually has Broken Harbor, and that's the one I wanted to s start with. So I'm just going to hold this one up and then make a choice as to which one I'm going to read. And obviously, it's set in Dublin, and Tana French is Irish. And the fifth challenge is to read a book about illness, and that can be either physical or mental. Uh, this I also struggled with. <laughs> uh, and I do not have any books that are overtly about mental illness or physical illness uh, that that I can really read at this moment in time or that I can bring with me except for this one that I just got and it is Three Years with the Rat by Jay Hosking that I just told for you guys uh, and in the front cover it says that it becomes clear that things are not all well with Grace she now veers into sudden rages that are increasingly directed at her boyfriend and her fellow researcher. So, you know, I'm just going to assume that that's people are going to at least think that she has some mental illness. I don't know. This one is really pushing it. I know. I get it. I get it. But, you know, you don't have to do the challenges if you don't want to, right? So I think this is a book basically that the whole family will enjoy and it looks like really good to me. So I'm bringing it. End of story. And that is my Ritorama TBR and I really 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 hope to get to all of them because so far my reading in March is pretty uh, I haven't finished I don't think anything yet and <laughs> it's already seven days into the month and that is unheard of for me so I need to get reading. So I would love to hear if anyone else is participating in this readathon and what you plan to read or if anyone has read any of the books that I mentioned and would like to me to get to them first as opposed to last in the readathon. So let me know and I will talk to you again later. Bye.